what would you do if somebody knowledgeable with experience came up to you and told you that the business you've been building for seven years was actually outperforming 95% of your industry? I'm Peyton Hughes. I'm one of the owners of Gymnazo, a seven-figure fitness facility that we built, my husband and I, over the course of seven years. And now we train trainers how to go from feeling confused and overwhelmed in their fitness business to feeling really confident and capable. Go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel for our weekly videos where we're dropping education and trainings on everything from fitness business to working together to how to hire and maintain a quality coaching staff to building your skills as a trainer to impact more lives. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you the story of how we found out we were in the top 5% of our industry. And the reason this video is so important is as you try to figure out who to follow, who to listen to, and how to chart your own success, I'm gonna share you a peek into our story because I believe we took a road less traveled and this road might be the exact one you wanna follow to accelerate your results. So something that's unique about our story is that we are atypical in the sense that we just put our heads down and we grinded for years, refining, learning, fine tuning, failing our way to systems and frameworks that honestly, I don't see anywhere else in the industry because we weren't influenced by anybody in the industry. So it literally took an email from the executive group at MindBody promising free tickets if we would just show up to their MindBody Bold conference in 2018. And once we kind of figured it out, my manager said, you know, these are, that's like a $500 value. You guys should just go. So we just went and we packed in our toddler. So there we go, just picture this. We're in this huge, beautiful Hyatt Hotel in the waterfront of San Diego. It's gorgeous, beautiful. We walk in and the energy just hits you in the face. I mean, it is fitness influencer world. And people are beautiful and fit and energy super high. Everybody's high vibration. They're loving on our daughter. It's just good energy and it's just like, ah, oh, just inhale the extroversion in the room. And so we walk up to go get checked in and we're handed these little name tags and there's this cool little VIP sticker or like a ribbon on the, uh, whatever it's called, the name tag. And I remember saying our name and the, the lovely gentleman getting us all set up was like you guys, oh, you guys are VIPs. That means you get invited to our special champagne uh, toast this evening on the rooftop. And the, the energy was, this is very exclusive. You should be so honored to be part of this group. And I say it that way because it felt very dramatic. And I am totally the person that loves some good hype. And when that's how it was described, I was like, yes, we're going to the champagne toast. But the day went on and we're absorbing as much knowledge as we can. We're trying, we're really enjoying this conference experience. And we go up to this champagne toast. It's getting closer to bedtime. Our daughter's kind of on the, on the edge. And we walk in to this uh, bit, like rooftop deck and everybody is dressed up. Like fitness influencerville in heels and everybody looks immaculate. Everybody's really excited and I am literally still in my Lululemon outfit, been puked on at least six times, baby still with me and we walk in, probably forgot my ID. In fact, I don't even think I was able to toast champagne because even though having a child with me, I didn't have my ID with me. And there we were, we're sort of just like, let's just show up and then let's bounce. That was our vibe. And for sure, we were not getting some uh, understanding looks from the crowd as we rolled in looking scrappy as heck. And so we get up there and then Rick uh, gets up there and get the CEO and gives this, this talk to all of us and just inspiring us for being top of the industry and the cream of the crop and that we are the elite in fitness. And I'm sitting there going to Michael, literally remember going to Michael, are, 
we in the right place? Like, why are we here? I feel like we've just crashed the party. And then I'm thinking maybe it's because we know people, because we're from the same town that we somehow snuck into the VIP. I mean, this is the level to which the like world was tapping me on the shoulder and I was sitting there going, what, where? I just didn't get the memo. And so there we are and we start talking to people and we start figuring it out and that was the year we were breaking um, $800,000 or so that year. And so we didn't know. We thought everybody there was raking in millions per location and we were the little peons in the group. So that was year one. The next year we return. And once again, we get greeted. We get the little VIP name tag. We're really excited. Uh, this year, I, our toddler is with the grandparents and I bring the infant with me. Baby strapped on me, a little eight week old. But we're there because we had such a good time the previous year, why not? And so we go and we're having some conversation with, with other attendees and one gentleman goes, oh, you're VIP, so am I. And we strike up this conversation and I say, I don't really understand what VIP means. Is it revenue based? Is it number of, of clients? Like, what is it based off of? He said, I think it's revenue based. And that's great because my company just broke 400,000 this year. And my husband and I kind of give each other a quick little glance. And then later we talk about it, we're like, what, are, what is happening? Like, we're gonna hit seven figures this year. That's what VIP means? You mean we actually belonged in that room? And it was this cool moment. We went to the champagne toast again and we were just owning it this year. Okay, so this is where I get competitive because I am the competitive one in our business relationship and I started to go, okay, two years in a row we're VIPs, two years in a row we're celebrated for being these top earners in the fitness industry. Maybe I should figure out where we stand in the industry because I'm one of those people that want, if I'm here, I'm in the top 10%, I wanna know, is it the top 2%, is it the top four? And like, that helps me navigate. And just feels really epic because like I said, we hadn't really been paying attention to the industry. And so I messaged a friend who works for a, a company that serves the general fitness industry and I asked him some questions just hey can you help me figure out maybe some of those key indicators of a business's success so I can benchmark our business more specifically and so after really diving into the numbers and figuring out a lot of the factors he told me we were in the top five percent of the fitness industry for revenue primarily and I'm sitting there going oh my gosh like I mean we have just been obsessing about how to um, increase the lifetime value of our clients. We've been obsessing about how to get programming systematized. We've been obsessing about how to onboard and retain quality coaches. And we haven't really thought too much about revenue outside of, I just felt like seven figures was a really cool number, so let's hit that number. And it was such a good moment of validation. And I was so thankful that I got that information because we were in the top 5% of the industry. So once we hit that seven figure milestone and once we got that validation on how our company benchmarked in the industry, it was time. It was time to, to show trainers and to show fitness professionals and business owners what we have done that has created this kind of result. That we would end up being twice invited to this rooftop champagne toast moment because it was notable. But a lot of the frameworks that we've been sitting on we either take it to more customers or we take it to the training community so they can take it to their customers. And that's what we are obsessed about. So my question to you is, what are you obsessed about in your business? We, we obsessed about how to create a sustainable fitness model that wouldn't injure people at the rate that typical fitness programs were. We obsessed about finding and identifying top talent and giving them a career path so they'd stay longer than six months with us. And then we obsessed about getting profitable and building security and freedom for our family, both financially and from a time perspective. What are you obsessed about? And then I hope in watching this video, you can see that, that some roads are more traveled and others are less traveled. What's, what I want to encourage you to do is find your way forward with the fewest amount of voices 
barking at you and trying to tell you how to get distracted, how to do the next thing, how you're not good enough. Try to silence all those voices and get really serious about following a framework that can get you to where you want to get in your business as fast as possible. So if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel where every week we're dropping videos where we share behind the scenes on what it really took, like what was successful that we did that you could replicate and get similar success in your business. Whether it's fitness business, whether it's coaching skills, whether it's how to program, whether it's what equipment we're using, what tech is working, how to hybrid from online and in person, the list goes on and on on because honestly we have been sitting on so much information for seven years we are bringing it through YouTube channel and through our private Facebook group which I'll link below in the comments where we give a lot of our frameworks and trainings away because our vision is to help elevate the industry and you liking and subscribing to our channel helps us to continue to do so.